Who would you want to be? The girl at home being che cheated on because she's so good, but then she don't satisfy her man. Uh -huh. But the girl that actually That's gets actually all question. the satisfaction out of her man. That's a good question. You want to know if you. I was a girl who I would pick? I'd mm -hmm. pick the girl at home that can't satisfy my se man sexually. You want to know why? Because I have the relationship, I have the ring, I have the house, I have the last name, I have the kids. <laughs> That's no what I have. Which one are you? You're the side chick. Yep. It don't matter because yep. I could make my own money. Uh -huh. I could get all that. That your uh -huh. woman at home can't satisfy you, and she's still a fucking whore because she, she don't have a source of yeah. income. She has a she's a good girl, but she's still depending <laughs> she on you she because she's taking. That's, not a, she's on the That's wheel. not a whore. So That's not a whore. She, she don't work. She doesn't need to work. She's a wife. Will beats head. Okay, but look, so she's look, handicapped. Look, 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 she okay. cannot satisfy you, but she just has a label. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. I need to understand her logic real fast. Real, real quick. So, who's the bigger whore? The girl that makes $200,000 a year that's a dancer or mm -hmm. works on, is on OnlyFans or the girl that has is a virgin but doesn't have a job? No, who's the broker whore? Who, who's the bigger whore? We're both whores. Uh, the broker is the one at home. It's, it's about, about morals. Richard. Girls, it's really, about, girls, it's really girls, about, girls, about, girls, about girls. having your morals. Girls, yeah, girls. It's about having the Yo, morals. Yo, you're trolling, bro. So, yeah, so yeah, you think that the, the girl that's a virgin no. that doesn't have money. Wrong. She's like okay, so the girl that's telling. a virgin that doesn't have any money is a whore. She doesn't realize she's trolling like She's accidentally told. Yeah, no, let's no, just, she's not. Let's she's, just, she's serious. Because you're, you're taking it out of perspective. I'm literally not. saying what you just said. I'm talking about love, satisfaction, trust, Since all when? that. When were we talking? Bitch, you're 40 years old, so single, man, with kids, man. You don't know shit about love. You, all you do is nope. have dick all day, man. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, yo, you're using, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> yo, yo, Chris. That's crazy. Back in the was on back page. Yo. <laughs> saying because i was asking this question to her because you were the one that said you were dancing right like do you think like in the future right you said i made ted bands real quick etc do you think your future counterpart would want to know and or like be with a girl that did that um i would hope he would because that's my past like you know like i, like I said i don't like i don't like I'm what so i do so i'm not, I'm not promoting i'm not promoting the work i'm never gonna sit here and say oh that's that's good money not all money is good money but i know i need it to put towards what i'm trying to do the ones i could leap away from that like i said that's just gonna be done soon because i want to have kids i'm not gonna tap no disrespect to nobody but i'm not gonna be stripping and have kids i don't want my kid to be like mom what are you doing your strip i know i don't want that for my life no but i have to do it for the moment and i hope whoever chooses to marry me they can not judge me for that they can be like are right, you did that in the past you're not doing that shit no more nah. you did what you have to do now nah, now nah, you're moved nigga. on nah, you know nah, hang on nah. if you were cold would you set your feet on fire to ho to warm up your hands no why not fuck because i don't want to get burnt i don't want to die right so i mean you you seem like you're sacrificing the thing that men want the most, which is virtue, <laughs> in hopes that later on they'll forgive you for being virtueless. Well, I mean, like because what what will you offer them? The thing that they care about the I'm least, which them, is money. I'm not offering. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna offer mm. them money. Money. Money's not really shit. We need money to do certain things, but yeah. I'm gonna offer them me. I'm offer them my love. Like yeah, you but know? what's so great about you without virtue? I'm I'm gonna have love at least. Like I got a good da down to earth personality. Like. Like I said, like, I did what I did. I just barely started stripping. I'm, I ain't been doing this shit forever. I'm just barely stepping my feet into life, did. you know? Nice and I'm not doing that forever. Like, I hope that they, they don't judge me, you know? I hope that they can be like, all right, you did that. You're not doing that no more. Now, let me give you a you counter. Know? Let's assume that you met the perfect guy. He's wonderful in every conceivable way you can possibly think of. Mm -hmm. He's great. He's dazzling. He's, he's got tons of money. He sweeps you off your feet. He lets you know that he slept with 100 guys. A hundred what? A hundred guys? guys? <laughs> We get tested, he good, and he's straight now. But you just said he's an amazing guy. You did just say he's an amazing guy. Your answer should have been, it just got kinky. By the look on your face, you looked a little like, if he's straight now, we get tested, and I'll be with him. You gotta be like, sweetheart, sweetheart, that nigga's gay. You can't say no, you gotta be like, oh, you got it? It's her turn.
playing. Her turn. Jesus playing. Um, no, so I had a question for him because she was talking about how you marry a good girl, but her sex is bad. Do you guys think about teaching your girl how to please you? <laughs> no, for real. Like, yeah, you well, do you think about teaching your girl? Let's get a good girl into a bad girl. Hold on. Before you, like, cheat, do you try to teach your girl how to satisfy you so you don't have to cheat? Because I feel like if you're married and still want to cheat, it's like, damn, why you gave this girl your ring? I will always be a stripper because men will always cheat. I would like to hear his response. I would like to hear your response. Go ahead. Um, so we're going to have different views on this, uh, mm -hmm. but I don't believe in monogamy. I think it's a it's a concept that is uh, just doesn't. Most guys don't want it, right? Obviously, if you're religious and you know that's fine, it is what it is. Um, but my thing is, I look at it like one woman is almost never going to sexually satisfy you as a man. You're always going to want variety. That's what we yearn for. That's what we Why? want. So I want to know. Can you shut the fuck yeah, up, man? Fuck up. You might know if you didn't finish the sentence. Yo, let's go to Rumble. Like, bro, I'm literally yeah, going to explain it right now, and you're over here just interrupting. Like, shut up, man. Shut the fuck up when I'm talking. Like, I don't want you interrupting me again. If I'm speaking, you just shut up. Period. All right? Anyway, so men crave variety from women. So we don't want to necessarily be monogamous. So what I would say is, like, yeah, you can obviously coach your girl to become better at sex, but that's not the most important thing. Because you, you, when it comes to your main girl, you want, we don't got to go to Rumble yet. Yeah, uh, we do. Uh, it's an hour in? Yes. An hour and a half? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah definitely Rumble. All right, we'll switch over to Rumble. Guys, come on over to Rumble. Rumble.com slash Fresh and Fit. Um, you, can, you, can, you can always coach your girl to become better, but, you know, at, at the end of the day, guys are always going to want variety. Mm -hmm. But I don't look at my, like, I'm not getting with my girl and making her my main girl for sex. Like, that's, that's the worst reason to make a girl your girlfriend, in my opinion, mm -hmm. is just for sex. Because her beauty is going to fade. Her sexuality is going to fade. You got to get something more than that. So is she pleasant to be around? Is she not a pain in the ass? Is her past clean? Does she come from a good background? Is she an asset versus a liability? I would argue most women are liabilities. So if you can find a girl that's an asset, then that that in itself is worth more than the sexuality. Because so you can outsource open. that, assuming you're not going to be monogamous. Now, if you're going to be monogamous, maybe that's more important to you. That's what I'm saying. So you're going to be open with your wife. Like, you're my main girl, but I still... Yes, I'm very honest yes. with girls. Okay, yes. that's all. I, I would have multiple know... wives. But the, the religion I come from, right, is you have that's multiple allowed. wives. Okay. Yeah. One, more yeah. One more mean? question. Sure so... Not. A man in a man's yeah. world, y'all would just want to have the best of both worlds. Well, no, we we have different we have different views on this. So I've come from it from a Christian ethical standpoint. I think that monogamy is uh, what we're called to do. I don't disagree with him in this in this sense. I think that if most most men could choose to have multiple women with zero consequence, yeah, of course I think that they would. Right, so just like I think if they world. had the option of. All things equal, the same woman, but one was 20 years younger than the other one, they would go for the one 20 years younger. Mm -hmm. Okay? I'm not unreasonable in that I don't understand these things. Right. But I also understand that if you look at kind of the keys to happiness and the keys to following a good virtuous life, monogamy is one of those keys. The problem is, right. is that most women now have no virtue. And so, mm. what's the point in being with a woman with no virtue? Um, mm. She belongs to the streets. None, right? Do I think that sexual compatibility between men and women is not that complex? Okay, I don't think it's that complicated, and it tends to grow over time, right. just like love tends to grow over time. Men are satisfied with very little. Very, it's the women that little. it's the women that need everything. To yep. be honest, it's the women that are dissatisfied with everything. It's the, the guys are happy, but they don't give a shit. Like, here's a good question. If you, if what guy have you ever given oral sex to who wouldn't go back for a round two? Ooh. None. None, no, right? None. So because they're <laughs> satisfied with, <laughs> with oh. very little. Taylor, why are you That's the point. Taylor, 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 my, Do you think my I'm joking? Yeah, so that's why I'm not joking. Which one? So I don't want y'all to like. Right. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Do you that's think fine. that you can sexually satisfy your man by yourself? Hell no. I need three thumbs. Beth, just by yourself, <laughs> For, forever. Mm -hmm. Beth, you're coming home with me. Yeah. Probably not. Oh, I what? feel like. Why? Wait. Well, because I feel like guys like to have a lot of different varieties, so I feel like they're not gonna. Be want to like have sex with me like forever. I feel like at least that's just what I think. So if he cheats, is it okay? Huh? If he cheats on you, is it is it okay? At least to me, it's not. But would you stay? Yeah, and I have in the past. So okay, W B. What about you? 
Um, but sorry, what was the question? She's <laughs> married. The question She's the married one. Yeah, I'm married, so I don't even like to say my man. I like to say my well, husband. Your husband. Right. Let's say, for example, the question on the table is, yeah. forever to come until now, can you satisfy your man sexually the whole time? Until you guys die or... Yeah, I'm, I mean, I think that's the point of marriage mm-hmm. in, like, a godly sense, to have, like, God as the foundation. I think that I agree with your... Well, the point purpose of marriage is family. Right, exactly. And that's the bedrock, right? Right. So so monogamy, the, the whole point of getting married and being involved in a monogamous Super relationship creative. is to set an example for the children. Mm-hmm. Right, exactly. And she ain't having no kids, though. She on birth control. Let me correct that. I cannot wait body. to have a family. I used to be one of them girls that was like, let me put my career I mean, over so a relationship. And so I used to be that girl. Okay. I so really used to be so very, like, independent woman. I don't need a man. Like, I used but to have that can't you make the argument that you're still doing that now, yeah. being on birth control? When you get off. I'm really... And, uh, hey, that is, that's that's God's plan. plan. When you get off, that's God's plan. God's plan. So, God's, yeah, God's I feel like plan. she's not on birth control. <laughs> God's plan. It is God's plan. God no, plan. She's she's on birth control. She's no, I'm saying like when it's time to start a family. I think. When, well, you know when but, but, when God but wait, she's she's 26, God leaves. When God leaves. She's 26, Andrew. When but if you're saying on oh, God's plan, I feel like you're not on birth control. I'm not answering if I'm on or not. That's just you should be. Shuddy smart. If you if you were on birth control, let's say. How would that be God? Wouldn't if you were off of birth control? <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't your family? Wouldn't that be what God's plan was? God's to be plan. off? Wouldn't that be if the devil's off, choice? Right? Wouldn't that be God's plan for when you had a family? Yeah, that's actually something that I've been thinking about a lot. Like I've been thinking about, okay, what you know, what does God think about birth control and women having that control over when they? The same you thing he thinks about family, if that makes sense. Well, wait, wait. All women have access to birth control. Right. What right. is it? What is what? What is the the access all women have to birth control? So what, what's choice. the access? What do you mean? Abstinence, right? Oh, abstinence. Yeah. If you don't have sex, what what's the result? Right. No kids. Right. So the thing is, is that if you every woman everywhere has always had access to birth control. Right. So the the question here is, um, you're using it to delay the birth of children, right? Because you're trying to plan, right? Right. I'm gonna plan this. I'm gonna plan that. I'm gonna plan this. Right. That's She's the whole the point, God right? In my life. Yeah. Honestly, I think that that's something that I that I think about a lot of times is like, are we trying to control our own lives by, cho- like picking and choosing that to possibly happen if that makes sense mm-hmm. like are are we going are you trying against, to control for the outcome right, right are we going against what god wants like yeah so i think that's something that i'm still praying about for sure okay yeah. what do you logically think what do i logically think about women who use birth control yeah the, do you think that that god want would want you on birth control i don't know i think that's like a personal relationship between you and god like that's you why would... i'm asking you personally do you think oh you're personally... asking me personally yeah. okay do I personally think that God would want me on birth control mm-hmm. right now? I think that I'm supposed to have a family, and I'm gonna just say that. I don't think it's God's plan. I think it's your plan. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. What about you? You have a boyfriend as well. Yes, I do. Can you satisfy him the whole time? Of course. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Of course. Did you ever cheat before? Have I ever cheated? Has he ever cheated on you before? Um. Okay, so a nigga <laughs> told me. The no, nigga. Let me keep it a butt. A nigga gonna be a nigga, you Whoa. feel me? A nigga gonna be a nigga. Has he, have I caught him fit, like, actually having intercourse with a bitch before? No. They're really good. Hold on, mama. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Good luck finding Like, it. no. I've never caught him cheating on me, cheating on me before. No. Have I had to, like, tell him, like, yo, this is not the way if you wanna do something you wanna do and go around your own way? That's cool. Yeah, I had to have that talk before, but that's just what comes with commitment and loving somebody for real wholeheartedly, you know? So if I love him wholeheartedly... So your own experience proves that you can't, can't satisfy your guy sexually by no, yourself. No, I, I can't, because guess what? I'm still <laughs> fucking that that it's night, sexually and I'm true. still pleasing that that night, and I'm still doing that, you know? And, and, and where he at? Still right there. Who he going to call? That wasn't the question, Me. Huh? Yeah, it wasn't that's, the question. That's the question. Can I satisfy him? Yes. Where's he at right now? He's working. Y'all always ask me this when he's working. He's working. You don't know where he's at. He's Anyhow. working. Why y'all always say that shit? He's fucking working. <laughs> like, what the fuck? So look, unless a guy is extremely religious, right? Like, you know, 
Andrew and you know has his convictions, etc. Most guys are gonna cheat on you, bro. Yeah. It is what it and is. And that's just real. And that's why I'm telling y'all, like, you feel me? That's the real. You that's why at the beginning I, I wanted to I separate. Can't please the... him. I could make that nigga come. Yes, I can. Yes, Satisfy. I can please that nigga. We well, go anywhere him. else. No, he don't go nowhere. I lived with my man for six years. I he don't go nowhere. I he don't go nowhere. What you had suspicions of him? <laughs> no, <laughs> on a phone, texting. Right. Yes. Had, do he go anywhere? Do I That's have his the location? Point. I have his location, to, yo. He wants to do it though. <laughs> I have his location. Stop. Damn. Yo, you know what I would do if I was with her? It's mutual. Leave my phone home. Leave your phone. Come, come back. No. <laughs> no. No. But this no. Is so evil. No. No. You, say you, would never know. you know what I've noticed no. is a trend with with this panel. Like yeah. we'll ask a question that they won't answer the question. They'll answer it right in their the head. Question. They think is right. the answer, but like they won't answer the actual question that was proposed. They answer what they want to hear. Yeah, like, which is incredible. Like stripper over here. It's a very feminine thing. Why do my baby like that? <laughs> what he say? Like, what? Like stripper. Okay. Like uh, yeah, sure. It, I'm a stripper for the moment, but in a moment I'm gonna be a big I'm fucking big music artist, and I'm gonna be no, proud to tell you the story. By the way, <laughs> oh sorry. It's <laughs> super proud of what, that. What are, what, are, what are the chances that you think you're gonna blow up and be the next big oh, thing? Oh, it's, it's not chances. It's, it's not, not chances. About it's, it's a no. It's a no that it's gonna happen. But let's assume. It's a no. It's not a chance. Like a knowing. Like a no. She's not about Fair enough. Wait. Can we play? Um, yeah. American Idol right now. You know what? We'll be the judge of your current career status. Just a Ooh, test I'm right scared. now, right? Okay. So we'll say, we'll, we'll say a judge from one, two, three. Okay. Happy Sing Friday. either maybe one of your songs or George, George, you're judging. Or you're neutral. Okay. George can judge as well. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. Let it, let us in the audience here. I'm the free sound mass- for you. There you go. Okay. You ready? Go. All right. It's a song of mine that I got. We got you. you. Like this, I right. hold on. Wait, <laughs> before you start. Uh, you got 30k watching right now. All right. They're gonna judge you on your performance to see if you can make okay. it. Okay. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Show you guys. All right. E, e, I eat these hoes. Not talking here, but I eat these hoes <laughs> with these flows. Remote these hoes. I'm in control. Puppet ass hoe. You been control. Your flow ass. No hoe. Buried your career. It's in a hole. I eat Santa Claus. Ho hoes. What you want for Christmas, bitch? Santa exposed. Even as an elf, you can't get these flows. Even as an elf, you can't get this shit. I'm the one, not the two. You the dumbest bitch. Period. That's just that's that's just something right there though. Is but that I got a thumbs bars, up or a I thumbs got, down? I got bars for oh, real. I got a thumbs down. I got bars for I got, real. I got a thumbs. I got bars <laughs> for real. I'm not gonna hold you. I got bars for real. I'm not gonna hold you for a bro. I'm not gonna hold you. You don't listen to me. That was pop. some bars. That's true. For jail time. <laughs> oh. and by the way, that's a no for me, dog. What about you? I don't need. I don't need that. Cause people talk about Drake. Drake, the greatest artist to me. People talk about Drake. He the goat. People think Drake whack. People think this nah, nah, Drake is a goat. Everybody nah, nah. got haters. Drake is a goat. That's what I'm saying. It don't matter to me. It don't matter to me who say no because I'm gonna be up there and I'm gonna get paid. All right, that's yeah, it. Look, that's fair. Fair. So, so let me ask you this. Okay. Yeah. Yo, let's pretend for a second. It didn't work out. Just, just hypothetically. Oh. It never works how it's going to work out. I'm not Don't saying that it's not going to. Or you're going to be the next big star. Okay? You're going to make a gazillion dollars. I totally, I 100% believe you. But let's the pretend. Come on, Drew. Hypothetically, it doesn't. What What would plan B be? Mm. I don't got a plan B. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, she I know took it's gonna plan B, happen. so. Um, Myron. <laughs> Oh, I see plan B. I know it's gonna happen. Come on, you don't know. You have what's the point? No, 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 eighty percent. Myron knows. No. I know it's gonna happen. Plan B. So, so we did a poll on uh, Rumble, right? No, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, it's, it's insider thing. Insider. Oh, and, okay, insider. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the chat's saying L. <laughs> All right, no. <laughs> Bro, you know what? Yo, chat going crazy right now. You know what? I'll give you this. You have your your uh, view on life, your own beliefs. You live in your own world. Props to you. Should we continue? Hypothetically, we're we supposed to take a break, please, because I'm thirsty. Nigga, what the fuck? A break? Yo, Mac. No. Get some water, Get some water. Yeah, I need some water. Yeah, I need some water. Yeah, I need some water. Yeah, I some water. Yeah, I need 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 some water. I explain the rules behind the scenes, all right? There's no break on the on the show, yeah, more or less, all right? On so, a train, yeah. This is a purpose for you, okay? All right, we got it. Yeah. 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 So, so, you got that we'll water. Hey, bitch, guys. hey, hey, do not talk over me, all right? Relax. <laughs> Chill, all right? Because I love day, when you call so, me that. I know, because you're fucking crazy as fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> I still stick for you living. I got you. <laughs> That's right. not even how my accent Let's sounds. Let's re-chat, all right? Let's re-chat, <laughs> man. Bruh. Okay. Bro. What the fuck, man? I just took one for the team. My bad. 